on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits? Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Find him! Wait, what, what happened? The witch escaped. But. Uh, how? There was someone with her, uh, who so fast he must be a demon. Yes. As yes, this has been the bishops. Do you see what I, I've been talking about? She, yes, a demon came to her rescue. You saw it. As yeah, the fire turns into blood, and he's. Pissed. He's already heard from the old lady that, yeah, they took her because they yeah, thought she was a witch, blah, blah, blah. So he's right now demanding what the hell happened. Uh, wait, Dracula, you're, you're real? Yes, I'm real. Just because I'm, you don't see me doesn't mean I'm not real. Fair point, but what are you doing? What what is it? Because yes, everyone's scared. This fiery presence demanding to know where his wife is is someone took her a demon. Demon. That's not possible. Him thinking they're lying and about to threaten them, saying how, yes, you have such and such time to tell me where my wife is or else all hell's going to break loose. They are constantly begging him, pleading, saying, no, we're telling the truth. Someone took her, stopped her from being burned at the stake and everything. You know, all we saw was a flash of, you know green lightning him looking closer he's using his vampiric abilities to actually look into their memories and he's yeah they're not lying so now he's on a hunt trying to find his wife and ultimately who saved her as Izuku he's carrying Amelia, and she's, you saved me? Her looking closer, she sees the, yeah, one for all is still flowing throughout his whole body, as well as the fact that, what are you wearing? Uh, oh, this is my hero costume. Can you tell me where I am? Uh, what day is it? Is he see who gets the whole thing? Is like I went back in time. What? Uh, nothing. It's just him just dropping her, her hurting her ass. But he's like, what the? Why? Why would you? He's like looking shot like. Him just knocking down a tree in utter frustration. What is it? As we have a flashback. Hours before this actually happened. Which is Izuku walking around with Eri. Showing her around campus. And May just like, oh... Adoria, come on, I can use your help for a second. Uh, sure, May. Uh, uh, come on, Eric. <sighs> so, what's this about? I think I invented something that can actually enhance one's quirk. <coughs> what? 
oh yeah, I think I make it stronger again. to a point where, who knows, you could be stronger than All Might. Not knowing, uh, yeah, he already is, when you really think about it. R really? S so, uh, how does it work? Her turning it on, and Eri is st instantly scared. Especially when it starts rattling, it starts to smoke a lot. Her thing, like, oh, what, 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 isn't that supposed to happen? No. Izuku just diving in to protect Eri and Mei. But this is when Eri, upon instinct and scare deprivation, is using her quirk. Izuku getting sent back through time, and Eri and Mei are like, What just happened? And yes, this is pretty much how things turned out for him. When he wakes up, he sees that he's in this weird forest, not knowing, okay, weird. I guess it, I was teleported somewhere, but I don't recognize this. Taking out a cell phone, no reception. That's just great. Uh, let's see if these people have a phone. It's upon, let's say, an hour of trudging through the forest, he does come across the burning of Dracula's wife. Him thinking, oh, it's just a trick or something, until he sees the pure, you could say, intent. They are really trying to kill her. Saying that she's a witch. Him being like, hmm. Didn't think people still thought like that. Her just trying to yell out, no, it's science. It's, it's not magic. I, I didn't sell my soul to no one. But upon it being lit, she almost goes up in flames. But Izuku dives in there and saves her. And now we're all caught up. <sighs> Looks like I got sent back in time. What? Yeah, I'm not from this era. But seriously, why do you think you were a witch? It can't just be because of you using science. Uh, you you believe that you you don't think I'm a witch? No, I know what science is. <laughs> Duh. I mean, it's quite common in my uh, time, so. But then again, yeah, science can be mistook for magic. Yeah. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Seriously, they should know by now that there's no such thing as magic. Oh, no, it's real. What? Oh no, magic is real. Come again? Yeah, my husband can use it. Well, he is a vampire, so they already have to... What? Um, yeah. My husband is Dracula. No, 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 no. Yeah, Ugh, but thank you, thank you so much, at the very least, uh, yeah. I would like to thank you, but now is not the time I need to let my husband know that we're f fine, plus who knows my son might be worried sick about me, you have a son? Yes. What's up? Uh-huh, yes. His name's Alucard, and 
He is just the greatest. <sighs> Please tell me you're kidding. This can't be real. Uh, peach me. What? Please. Um, okay. Ah! Okay, so I'm not dreaming. This is a... This is real. Dracula is real. Vampires are real. Oh my god, magic is real, so... Why do you seem so surprised? Isn't that how you saved me? Oh no, that was my quirk. Your what? Quirk! Uh... What's a quirk? Oh my... Oh, that's right. Um, It's kind of like a genetic mutation in which... You could say... People from my time actually can gain powers or different abilities depending on uh, the type of mutation. It could be something similar to their parents or something completely different from the original. Her just trying to listen. She's trying to jot down other shit. It's like, okay, okay. Why are you writing this down? Because this is fascinating. To think that humans would be capable of such amazing feats, they could rival that of a vampire, possibly. At least a regular one, perhaps, but because of my husband, I don't think anyone can really match him. Yeah. Right. So, where is your husband? I don't know. He was traveling last time. I told him to go see the world. But later after, that's about the time when they came for me. I don't understand. I didn't do anything wrong. I just, I just saved and helped them, but... They accuse me of being a witch all because of my methods. Well, one thing about humans is they they tend to fear what they don't understand. That's why that's why I'm trying to give them an understanding of it. Well, People can be stubborn in their old ways. And this new way that you're trying to help is hmm, different. And at times, different can scare people. Believe me. In history, different is often persecuted just because you're good with plants they think oh maybe she's she made a deal with something or someone especially when it comes to the matter of God huh. I guess you're right about that So what if I was a witch? Would you have still saved me? Did you ever hurt anyone? No. I mainly used my methods for helping and aiding the sick and injured. Then I have no reason to want you to get hurt. Him just patting her on the shoulder is like, come on, let's go find your husband before something else happens. As Dracula is pretty much like, where is she? Him actually sending out bats, even summoning a demon or two, saying, Yeah, 
Find her, or else you could be on the chopping block. Respectively, of course. So yes, they are sitting out on a war path trying to find this Wyman. Whether they're successful or not depends on what you could say for the people who are scared of demons and instantly want uh, nothing to do with them. Even to farsay kill the demons if given the chance. All the demons are doing is asking some questions. But the way it seemed is like, no, please leave us alone. We didn't do anything wrong. Etc. Etc. So yes, you can just uh, don't think you consider this not good luck. This goes on for let's say two days. Let's let's be generous. Two days. Upon which Dracula is like, okay, so they're killing all my demons. They're trying. They won't answer any of their questions. Well, this person who saved my wife, what if he went to kill her himself, or what if he decided like, uh, to give her back to the church, or, no, no, please don't tell me he did, or what if they killed him, and then my wife, or what if someone kidnapped her from him, he's thinking of all of the crazy as hell possibilities that could have occurred. While he was away, while he's trying to find out some answers, they don't know what they think. Sorry. So you can just imagine the look on his face when he sees one Izuku. <laughs> I have your wife. He gets tackled by Dracula. His throat. Is inches away from being slashed. It's me goes, wait, wait, wait. You. Him dropping Yuzuku. It's like, I couldn't even see him. Her just hugging Dragula's. I was so worried. What happened? They were going to kill me. He saved me. Oh, 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 dear! I am, I am very sorry. That's right. Oh my, oh my God! <laughs> wow, you, yeah, you have a good husband there. But don't worry about it. It's also my fault, considering I, I could have phrased that better. Uh, yes, but still, it was my job to get conclusion that could have led to your death. But I am very sorry. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Just, uh, I'm just. Damn. That hurt. Seriously, you must be very strong, though. I couldn't even see you. You. It was like a blur. <laughs> well, from what are you saying can be said about you? Who knows how it could have ended if we actually fought? I'm pretty sure you could still win. Hmm. You're being modest. At the very least, I think you would fare better than any normal human. In which you aren't very normal, are you? How'd you guess? Your attire, your smell. You seem to be from Asian descent. Wait, you can tell that just from my smell? The blood. As yes, Izuku feels around. As a you uh, <clears throat> right never mind huh. 
If anything, you saved my wife. And possibly humanity as a whole. What? Yes, I mean, if they had ended up killing her, I probably would have been on a rampage. I probably would have started a war with humanity, only having to be stopped by someone who was either very lucky or very powerful. Oh. Wow. So, if it wasn't for me, chances are humanity would be screwed. Depending on how far I want to do this onslaught. Hmm. Uh, okay. So, I feel like I should give you a reward for your service. Just name it. No thanks. I, if anything, the only thing I actually want is to go home. What? Him looking at why he's not from this time. He's. Uh, you see, um, he's from the future, isn't he? Yes. Intriguing. I never met a time traveler before. And believe me, I have seen my fair share of oddities. Am I really that weird? Well, being one from a different time period, uh, that would warrant some, well, curiosities on my part. Fair point. Very, very fair. <sighs> Are you sure you want nothing more than just to go home? Be honest. Yeah, that's all I really want. I mean, if anything, I would like to get a little stronger before I go, but I don't see that being possible. Nonsense. Huh? I, I've i taken an interest in you, so why not uh, me and you train? I could learn some more restraints. Well, you can learn to be stronger. Really? But I wouldn't, I don't see myself as being really, uh, I'm not that much of a good match. And wouldn't it be insulting for you to lower yourself just to, you know, is it not that that's complete and other nonsense. You saved my wife. You saved humanity indirectly. You didn't. You didn't know what I would have done. Seriously, they don't know what I would have done unless I told them. In which you are the savior of humanity for protecting, for saving my wife, keeping my family together. As he's eager, he feels. Wow. Thank you, but I still think it's it's too much to ask for you to train me. Hmm. Still on that, are you? Very well. I'll have some, one of my subordinates be your training partner. Hmm, perhaps Camila. She does have a disdain for humans, however, but she would like to smack you around. As long as I set some boundaries that she is not to kill you. What? Oh, yes, she does not like humans very much. Sees them as, you know, food. But at the very least, 
she would prove to be a very powerful opponent. Not nearly as strong as I, but still something that could be formidable to a normal human, definitely. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, S Sir Dracula. Uh, I feel like I should be uh, bowing or kneel. There is no need for such formalities for my wife's savior. You don't have to say like that. You're a hero. Well, that's what I've been trained for. Hmm. Very good. As yes, as soon as Camille hears that like, you want me to do what? Train this young man. Why? G give me a good reason why. One. He saved my wife. Two. You get a free pass to smack him around as much as you want. And he'll just see it as training. Which he does really want. Three. I said so. Four. Do I even need a four? Fine. Very well. As yes, Camila, upon seeing Yuzuku, he, to her, he's very insignificant. He's just a regular human to her. It's like this is just a, this is just pointless. I can kill him with one strike. I don't even have to try. Well, you seem so sure of yourself, Yuzuku. If you would. Him charging up one for all. Her seeing this is... He has mastery over lightning. Which he dashes at her. Her barely being able to see him. And dodging. Her getting struck by a little bit of one for all. And it burns. She winces in pain. And is like what the hell are you? My name is Izuku Midoriya, and thank you for agreeing to train with me. I'll try my best not to disappoint. Huh. He has, he actually has manners compared to the other humans I've met in my life. Then again, would you really let them live? <laughs> I see your point. Nonetheless, don't think I'm going to go easy on you too much, kid. You got lucky. Don't expect it to happen again. Yes, ma'am. As, yeah, that's pretty much how that goes about. Izuku getting trained by Camila, or at least... Him getting his ass was by Camila a lot. But yeah, he just sees it as training. He doesn't like getting beat up, but he knows, like, us is the only one. He's going to have to learn how to get stronger some way, somehow, as long as it works. Yeah. Oh well, let's see how this goes. It takes him, let's say, two months of being there. Dracula knows that he's a, yeah, he wants to go home, so I might as well help him out there. So he's trying to study Izuku, trying to learn, okay, to see what could have happened to the point where he actually got to sit here. Hmm. Easier said than done, definitely. Ah! This is how, this is how it works. As yes, 
Turns out Izuku still has some revenants from his world, at least that time period. It being foreign to the world they live in now, but it could be considered a type of link. His genetic information, his entire being can still be considered a link towards his world. He just needs to find a way to open the door, a window at least, for Izuku to pass through. And Izuku has learned quite a bit thanks to Camila. She, she is not one to pretty much sugarcoat things. She's a hell of a lot more brutal than All Might would be. Izuku is, let's say he can use around 50% by this time. He can go higher, but it, it's too much strain for him. But at least he's fast enough to at least technically catch up with her, but she has more mastery over that maneuverability. To the point where as soon as he does land a blow on her, she's sent flying through five walls until she just smacks him upside the head, sent him through ten floors. And this is just an all-out brawl for them. To the point where they're all sway, they're all just like, what? This is, so this is a f real fight? This is how it feels? This is what's going through both their minds. Camila may have fought countless battles before, but none excited her as much as this one-on-one -on -one match with Izuku. To the point where she takes her claws and stabs him right in the chest. Him looking like, what? Her. As soon as she pulls him out, she sees the blood. And she is instantly regretting, like, oh my god, what have I done? She, yeah, she's freaking out. She's wondering, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's the girl, I am so sorry. I did not mean to... Wait, I, I I can fix this. I can. Her seeing Black Whip start to envelop his wound. Ah, uh, I'm fine. Thanks to you, I learned something uh, else about my quirk. It can enhance more than just my body. As he focuses. And it's kind of like how Kratos is... Healing technically works. Which he actually wills himself. He uses his damn will to heal himself. And that's what Izuku does. By channeling one through all through his body. He does have scars. But, see? I'm fine. We are just looking at that smile. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm glad you're all right. Of course, I have you as a teacher. Her just getting caught up in the moment and kissing him. He's shocked. She's like, wait, what am I doing? Pushing him through seven walls. It's like, what the hell? What did I just do? Zuko, I'm sorry? Stop apologizing all the time! Her just flying off, just, I can't believe I just did that. Zuko, that was my first kiss. Him feeling his lips. <laughs> but it, it wasn't wasn't bad. <laughs> I didn't regret it. But it was probably just nothing. She she probably didn't mean to. <sighs> yeah. It was nothing. It was just a one-time thing. She just 
walking while she, she sees Dragon Ball Z. <sighs> Look what you've done to me. What? I spent too much time with that human. Yes. I heard the noise. I prefer you not destroy my castle. If you don't mind. Uh, what? What happened? Nothing happened. We just... We just fought. Like... One of us smells blood. What did you do? Her, just looking at the rage in his eyes, like, did you kill him? Just grabbing her hand, seeing the blood smelling his... Tell me what happened. Her explaining. Is it... Ah. You're falling in love with a human, are you? No, no, don't, don't be ridiculous. There's no way in hell I, I've killed countless of them without a second thought. This is just one of the few ones that I have been unable to kill as per your instructions not to do so. If I was given the chance, I'd kill them already. So you're saying. But could you? I can hear in your voice. You don't mean what you're saying to me. You like him. I'm not saying love. You like. There is a difference. You're scared. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. You're worried about him. Which you were until he healed himself. You've never met a human like him before. Though, yes, he knows of what we are, he does not shun us. He does not fear us. His power nearly matches ours. It's interesting, isn't it? You find him... Fascinating, enticing, don't you? Uh, um, you care for him. Otherwise, you wouldn't be reacting the way you did earlier. Yes, you may have despised him before, but having this time to get to know him... Under my instruction, of course. <laughs> You're starting to warm up to him. I can't blame you. There, I've seen many humans. Driven by greed. Hate. Tradition. I've seen... Kingdoms and empires rise and fall, crumble, and become nothing more than a fading memory. Hmm. So many people losing loved ones, losing their lives over some petty reasons. Always wonder what drives them to continue on like this. I suppose ambition can be the cause of that. Money, well, well as fame, glory, the god. While this boy seems to only want to help, to be a hero. Of all things. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? It's irrelevant. I don't know what you're trying to say, but no. I am not falling for a human. I don't care what you say. 
Well, I suppose I can't convince you of your own feelings, but just so you know, he will be leaving soon enough. What? Yes. I'm close to finding out how to send him home.